Welcome back everyone. Today, we got a good episode for y'all. Uh, so you know, I've been with Guggen Squad just as kind of like an affiliate, right? For maybe like the last handful of years. Uh, started fishing because I watched the Guggen Squad members before it was even the Guggen Squad, right? You know, Flair. I remember when I was like looking up how to hold a fish and like using bait casters for the first time and his videos popped up and then finding, maybe it was Peric next, I don't know, John B, I'm trying to think back. <laughs> could have been Lunkers, could have been any of them, right? Uh, Lake Fork guys videos, learning so much from all the guys, right? Uh, amongst various other YouTubers, like I remember when it was D Almighty doing like a lot of fishing videos primarily before his scuba videos. Uh, same thing with Jigging with Jordan, same thing with... I remember Milliken, watching Milliken's videos back when him and, and Flair were tight, back when they were tight. You know, it's been years now, seems like an eternity almost. And before we get any further into today's video, I have to mention this weekend we're going to be up in Oklahoma City, okay, y'all? Red Bull Rapids. We got our acceptance letter here, essentially. Check this thing out. Uh oh, shoot. Row, row, row your boat rapidly down the stream. Red Bull Rapids, Oklahoma, August 27, 2022. And we are going to be building a custom bass watercraft that we're going to be taking down the Rapids course at Riversport OKC. It's going to be a ton of fun. It's a free spectator event. If you're up in Oklahoma or here in the DFW Metroplex, come out and see us. It's going to be a good time. Hope to see some of y'all this weekend. Let's get right back into the video. So first of all, over the years, we fished a lot of Guggen Squad and Guggen Bait products, almost exclusively, right? We throw a lot of stuff, but uh, the majority of what we throw is Guggen Baits, you know? Uh, they're soft plastics, they're hard baits. <laughs> <laughs> and it's been phenomenal. We've caught some of our biggest fish on these products, Devin and I, over the years. But now the Guggens have come out with this new product, okay? Guggen Squad Black Series Rods. And they've always been this kind of seemingly budget-friendly brand catering to the masses, right? Getting more people into the sport of fishing than anybody else I can think of, like collectively as a group, right? Uh, through their videos online. That was my first hit. Got him! <gasps> my first bass ever on an A-ring! And so it's been phenomenal. It's been fantastic. But this new Black Series rod, okay? This is geared more towards like the pro-level angler, like this serious uh, fishing enthusiast, not just your everyday angler at this price point. And they're gonna have a lot of happy customers with this product, but um, so Catchco they sent us one right to test out, and they sent us this Muscle XL, and they know we like throwing big swim baits on this channel. Thank you, bud. What a catch! But here's my dilemma. Here's my problem. I'm on Guggen Squad's website. I'm sifting through all the baits and everything, right? And there's nothing on the Guggen's website that can really put this rod to the test. There's really, you know, they got the contender, which is like one and three quarter ounce. Okay, that's like right where this rod starts off at. It won't even break a sweat, okay? So then, I'm out fishing A-Rigs the other day, right? We just did some A-Rig videos. I've got one or two up now. We've got a couple different versions here. This Janko one, and a buddy lent us this. And I even picked up from Carl's a four and a half inch one for kind of like a tie. Anyways, we've been fishing some A-Rigs, right? So I'm out with my buddy Jordan and he's like, have you tried the Sixth Sense A-Rig? Because he said he really liked it. And I was like, no, but it's local. I found it at Academy. I figured I could load it up with uh, some saucy swimmers and maybe have a heavy bait to push this thing to its limits. And then I remembered. So this is the Sixth Sense, right? We're going to fish it today. Uh, but then I remembered. A subscriber gave us a Sixth Sense draw glide bait okay justin pillarose shout out my bro because i've had this thing for what's it been whenever you got that die wazillion from me like a year ago or however long it's been man and uh and so anyways he gave me this bait when i met up with him and uh, sold him this bait caster and i just never fished it right it was in a box <laughs> on the shelf and uh never fished it but now i'm thinking this is the perfect time to test out this rod this is a four ounce Glide bait, essentially, okay? It's right at four ounces. Now we can put this rod to the test and really give y'all a show and see what it's capable of and also hopefully catch some fish on some big baits. Uh, just kind of throwing it back with some pond fishing, the stuff y'all know and love over here on the channel. And so we do that in today's video over the next couple days. And I know this is something you thought you'd never see from me, right? Because I don't know if you've been living under a rock, but Guggen Squad and Sixth Sense are kind of... Catch me outside, how about that? Uh, yeah, so you probably would never see a combination like the Sixth Sense Divine Umbrella Rig or whatever this is called mixed with like some saucy swimmers on the back, okay? 
But today we do it, and we don't just do it, we catch fish on it, and we pull out the draw on the last day, because this fishing takes place over multiple days. It was tough finding a bite on uh, that, uh, that A-Rig for some reason. And uh, so we put in some work for y'all. If you would, just go ahead and hit the like button for uh, the amount of time that went into this video. I know I haven't dropped one in like a week, but trust me, it's worth it. Stick around until the very end. We're going to take y'all through the next few days of fishing, throwing nothing but heavy baits on this rod right here, really showcasing it in its best light. I think y'all are going to love this one, so uh, stick around till the end. We catch a fish on the sixth sense draw to close things out. We talk a lot about specs and details of these baits throughout the video, if I... I'm not mistaken. <laughs> Anyways, let's go ahead and cut to the fishing, y'all. This is fishing sixth sense for the first time ever on this channel. I hopefully you can kind of bring some folks together out here, okay, in the community, because there's a lot of head button, trash talking, smack talking. Can we just get out there and have some fun and do some fishing, y'all? So that's what today's video is all about. I hope you dig it. We'll see you on the water. All right, we got some extra swim baits. We got some extra jig heads, and that's really all we're gonna bring. Look at all that flash right there. This could be good. This could be good. Overcast little breeze. This is the days you want to throw like a spinner bait and essentially this is like five spinner baits in one So it's gonna be tough to beat. Morning. How you doing? No fish yet, but a handful of casts in and I will say I think that swivel on the front definitely helps this thing not get as uh, Potentially knotted up on those casts and stuff, you know and a little bit less line twist essentially nothing has gotten tangled up yet So that's about 10 minutes in just something I wanted to point out because it seems like a pro over a con Yep, yep, yep double whammy dun, 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 dun. That's you talking about over there wonder if it's worth staying here versus going somewhere else got him nice that's not bad either yeah heck yeah we passed in front of him 10 times i know dude that's what i'm saying like all it took was i stopped it and i hopped it and right on the hoppy gravity jeez then in the previous cycle now pop it out so good Got him. Got him nice. As soon as we roll up. Oh man. There we go. And with that, I made a quick pond hop because I decided that the weather is too nice and the fish were just not amped up at that last spot. Dude, this has like three hooks in you. Chill, 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 chill. How do you store them? How do you like keep them in a tackle? Like is there a tackle box specifically for these? I might have already searched the answer by the time you all see this, but I'm quite curious. Anyways, nice plump bass on that thing. Come on, yo. <laughs> Doing work right out to fountain see ya okay so now i can talk to y'all a little bit about some details and things i've noticed after fishing this for the you know at least an hour's worth of time um these uh, the wires do not seem as stable as the other one i bought which was i think the same price but i'm finding myself having to bend these out quite a bit like not not just after that fish obviously uh because that was insane but I'm finding myself having to bend these out like over and over, okay? Every handful of casts. Whether that's an issue or that's like super common with these, I have no clue. Because at this point, I've only used a couple and the last one did not do this and this one does it. So there's pros and cons. And then the saucy swimmers are just doing saucy swimmer things back here. So let me get another one of them bad boys on here. These are those jig heads we picked up with the double bait keeper. Seems to be holding everything on there nice and neat. I haven't had to reposition these baits at all. So Magic Shad 3.3 inch. That's what I'm throwing on here. If I was on the boat, I'd probably be doing quarter ounce jig heads with like 3.8 inches potentially. Uh, but since I'm bank fishing, I'm going lighter with it. Uh, you know, a lot of shallow water I'm working. There's just not, there's not the same need for that bulky profile. You know, a lot of the bait fish they're eating might be smaller than in the lakes. Not necessarily. There's big, big bait that they're eating in here too. Probably some crappie and bluegill. Smash the like button for the combination you thought you'd never see on YouTube. That is right. Six cents and Guggen Squad. Come on, baby. Ho, ho, ho. Almost lost that $300 rod, $500 reel, $30 to $40 bait combo. That would have been catastrophic. Not like it wouldn't have been right here, but. There he is. Got one. All right, right off the reeds. Reaction strike. And we're never going to know how big it was. Yeah. 
literally. There he is. Got us one. Come on. Right along the reed edge. Nice. Oh gosh, we got him. All right, well, we're putting something together. Do you know of any public spots around here? Look at any of the parks around here. But not park. Maybe some of the golf courses you might find. Got kicked out, went home, had lunch, we're back out here. Pond number four, drove across town. You're caught up. They don't ever send that to you? Uh, no, they do. What it is. I leave. <laughs> you again, we will have you arrested. <laughs> yeah, you know. A nice body cam. Last spot was a bus. We're at spot number five with Ryan Rigg now. Oh, this is the muscle. The sauce boy. It's the muscle XL. So, mm -hmm. hit him. <laughs> Strength test. Doing like the hard baits with treble hooks, the glides, and even the swim baits. It's gonna be perfect because it's got a little like a moderate tip. Up to you. Yo, whoa, dude. Not a fish, it's definitely that concrete thing. Oh, it's gone. No. Oh. oh, like five of them got bent out. Oh my gosh. Hey, look, you go back here on this side? Yep. Bro, I caught a five pounder back just the other day. Bro. Man, yeah, I appreciate Fast. that. I might go get out of the world. Yes, sir. No fishing? Okay. Yeah, I saw that. I don't know if they're golfers. It looks like a maintenance cart. How's it going, y'all? I hate to do it while I'm playing, uh, but I am one of our assistant pros out here. Yeah. Uh, we don't allow fishing. Okay. We're just walking through. Yeah. So, I uh, just want to let y'all know for the future. Appreciate I won't it. be an asshole, but somebody will. Ah. <laughs> yeah, I just want to let y'all know. What's going on? How's it going, y'all? All right, y'all. We've been at this for days, but we are going to really give this rod a test there it is the draw little unboxing for you 75 dollars this guy right here if you were to go purchase it nice little color there just mainly mainly the shad and uh yeah ooh, i like the belly i don't the, the top the gold is you know that's fair that's fair but i would rather just almost all be that clear maybe that little dark translucent whatnot and then have that belly that'd be that'd be perfect tail almost looks like it's interchangeable big old hooks let me tell you what that double swivel deal so that's about it 3.75 ounces big old base let's just call it four ounce bait and you know i almost always throw my big swim baits with fluorocarbon and today we're just gonna keep rocking the anteris dc and go straight braid water's not extremely clear a lot of people talk about fish being line shy we're about to find out big old palomar knot cinch down give it just a little extra tag in that way if that needs to cinch up on a big old bite or a tree stump or something that is a slow sink isn't it with braid it's basically a no sink nice wide glide okay so the good thing is the fish that are swimming underneath this thing are just going to see those bottom colors primarily if i get hit on this i am fully expecting four plus pounds out of a, even out of a pond like this if i get hit with like a one or two pounder gonna be upsetting y'all we're trying to find that one big and one hour later nothing at the first pond so this thing actually does sink fairly well if you work it fast i might just go straight to that flat we only got so much time there's a little breeze over there i'm gonna flip this texas rig real quick uh-oh about to see it <laughs> slow work in the draw come on let's go <laughs> hell yeah dude it's a seven no i'm kidding he's like a pound and a half we watched him smoke that right by the bank that's what you want to see right there come on straight braid oh gosh 
Almost got me in the face. These trebles are so thick. Holy smokes. Simmer down, son. Simmer down. I got time for this. Say, man, hold on. Oh. Oh. All right, cool. I only have to get the pliers. That's what I'm talking about. Home run. Uh, you gonna release yourself too? Am I good? Okay, see. You. I'm kidding. <laughs> what a catch, bud. Thank you. First ever on the big old glide. That's what I'm talking about, boys. Consistency. You know what I'm saying? Two hours worth of it. <laughs> All right, we're gonna have to talk a little bit more about this catch at home because I want to try and make the most of what available light I have left to try and catch a couple more. But uh, definitely, you know, with the recap on this thing here in a little bit, talking about how it fishes, talking about how this rod's performing, and uh, everything in between. We've been throwing that A rig for days, and just it's been it's been a little slow on the moving bite. There was a little bit of a storm earlier today. Clouds here, a little bit of a breeze. I figure, you know, same as the last few days, maybe something's hitting. And we just got lucky today, so all right. Whew, head down, back in the game. Let's hurry. let's hunt for something bigger. But that was friggin' sweet. Learning how to fish this bait a little bit better, getting used to its kind of cadence and its glide. Eight pounder coming up next. Uh, so about that eight pounder. <laughs> I couldn't find it. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed today's episode. Something completely different, throwing six cents for the first time on the channel, really breaking that rod out and putting it to the test. Check out the pre-orders if y'all wanted to get one of those Guggen Squad Black Series rods. Otherwise, we hope to see some of y'all at Riversport OKC this weekend. Check out the Bass Buggy. I mean, she's almost put together. I don't even know if it floats, but we're going to try and make it to the end of the rapids regardless. Drop a like if you haven't not already. Subscribe. We got more bass fishing content headed your way. Till then, peace.